Crucible Theatre in Sheffield, the home of now what is one of the biggest sporting occasions of the year and a mammoth outside broadcast for BBC television. Enough videotape there to stretch from one end of Great Britain to another to cover the play that these people will be watching and watching with us over the next 17 days. The longest tournament in its history, the richest, the biggest and the most important and you'll be lucky now to get a ticket. And this is what it's all about. A snooker table inside the Crucible Theatre, cameras on it waiting for the first ball to be struck and it, of course uh, playing for the trophy that's sitting here beside me now the Embassy World Professional Snooker Championship. Right, thank you, ladies this and year we have 32 professionals taking part, more than ever before, and of course the question that everyone is asking, can anybody take the title away from the man who's become one of the biggest names, not just in snooker, but in all sports, Steve Davis. What a remarkable time he's had over a couple of years. He came here, he won the title last year, since then he's done everything right. And the bookmakers are now so confident that they've made him five to two on favorite to retain the title, and nobody has ever retained the World Professional Snooker Championship title here in the Crucible. Well, Davis is on first match. We're just waiting for it now all to start. As I say, 17 days of it. He's down there in the wings, waiting to come out with his manager, Barry Herm. Tony Knowles, his opponent, is just there in front of him. Tony Knowles from Bolton, just there, and twitching the around just a little bit, because it's a big test for Tony Knowles to take on the biggest name in sport. Certainly the biggest name in snooker sport. Tony Knowles from Bolton. He's played in the United Kingdom British Championships, under 19, under beaten Fred Davis and Doug Mountjoy, and now plays Steve Davis. Cole, and they're just Steve about to be announced. Tony in fact, Knowles. out there and out goes Tony Knowles, MC David Harrison, announcing the players for the opening of this year's World Professional Snooker Championship. Let's join them live. Current holder of four major championship titles, the Jameson Whiskey, the Coral UK, Benson Hedges Masters and the Yamaha International Trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, seated number one, the reigning world champion, Steve Davis. And in he comes. The entourage are in the hallway. We saw Barry Hearn. The bodyguards are there as well. He really has taken over. National referee, John Smythe. John Smythe, the referee just being introduced and tonight in this first round match they will play the first nine frames and Steve Davis looking just a little pensive he came here yesterday and got some practice on the practice table which is identical to the match table didn't see anything of him at all today until he came in over the last half an hour or so Tony Knowles very nervous indeed understandably but he's a man with a lot of experience and a man that many people say is one of the great stars of the future so here we go then Tony Knowles, there's a man who's going to break up in the commentary box, is the, the commentary team, and Ted Lowe. From Graham Miles. The first ball being struck in the 1982 World Championship. And Steve has a query with referee John Smythe. The first shot, One. the first ball, in his defense of the world title. And he signals. <laughs> so Steve Davis concedes the first ring in this 19 first round match in his defense of the world crown. Steve still unhappy about something, querying with the referee John Smythe. The world Eight. champion yet to chalk up a frame in his defense of the world title, 82. 11. Tony making few mistakes in these first four frames. 26. 
Steve obviously a little disappointed. Steve leaves the arena and it is Tony Knowles who goes out for the interval happy in the thought that he has a four frames to nil. He may have left a red on here. Finn cut in. And he goes in off. How unfortunate. Things just aren't going right for Steve tonight. So that's pretty good for Tony. Then Steve Davis gave him another four, and that one was all over. So Tony Knowles, six. Steve Davis, world champion, one. I mean, nobody could really predict this in any shape or form. Steve Davis was worried. Tony Knowles was on top. At the start of the next frame, naturally, the crowd were buzzing. Well, and that surely tells us that Tremendous blue there. Surely makes it 7-1 to Tony. And what an unfamiliar situation for Steve Davis. So 7-1, Tony knows. 7-1 of that scoreline echoing around Steve Davis's head. It was a big frame, 7-1, it could have been 6-2. So, one to play. And sit back and enjoy it with us. Well, he won't be worrying about the black. So that is 8-1 to Tony Knowles, a truly magnificent performance. And Tony shakes hands with Steve. What a session for Tony. Well, Tony, with every respect, there's a lot of people here who can't quite believe that. I wonder if you can. Not really, no. <laughs> what was going through your mind when you went in to start playing? I mean, did you really go in uh, and think, I can beat him? Because a lot of people have gone in and thought, really, I can't, but I'll do my best. Well, going out there tonight, I was really relaxed. Well, so over the last five tournaments I've played, I've been a bit uh, tight, nervous, mm. tension, you know. And uh, tonight, no nerves at all. Dead really? relaxed, yeah. And uh, I don't know how that's come about. What made you play so well? And with every respect, you also got a bit of a run. And why do you think he didn't play as everybody expected him to play? I suppose it's been the uh, first match of the championships for him. And it's, it's the second match for me. So I'm, I'm already into the, mm. the championships, and uh, I suppose he's, he's been feeling a bit tense uh, coming on for his first mm. uh, game. Mm. You played that, him before, though, haven't you? Uh, about three years ago, mm. I played him. Yeah. And beaten him? Uh, won one and uh, lost the other one. Mm. Uh. You played one particular shot in the second frame, which we saw earlier on, that Massé shot where you screwed around a red into that middle pocket. And everybody said they <coughs> couldn't understand that shot at all. It went in, but uh, what was behind your mind? Then? Well, there was, I was left with nothing else to play in that situation. And uh, if it had played safe, he'd have only put me back in the same position. So uh, I wasn't losing anything by pl playing around the, uh, I think it was the blue. Yeah. I wasn't losing anything by taking on the massive shot and uh, ended up getting it. You wouldn't have minded playing a couple more frames tonight, would you? Uh, not really, not the way I was playing. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, marvellous. You've got a lot to do yet, but uh, yeah. well done tonight. The man of the championship. Thank you. Yeah. So, ten frames in the match tomorrow. Steve Davis needs all but one of them to stay in this world championship and stand a chance of retaining his title. As for Tony Knowles, he needs just two to put the champion out. And perfectly on the blue, and... Fourteen. And a little wave of the hand indicates that 
the Embassy World Champion, has been defeated by Tony Knowles in a superb exhibition of match snooker. Tony, many congratulations, and I'm just wondering which was the more difficult, uh, playing this morning or getting through last night? Well, after a big uh, victory last night, uh, a big lead, you know, of 8-1, uh, it's hard to say how you're going to play this morning, and uh, I was glad to say that I got right back into the game again early on. You couldn't have had a better start when you saw the way that Steve Davis broke off, of course. Uh, well, that shows that he is a bit, uh, he was a bit tense going out there this morning, and... Uh, yeah, it was a big relief, that. And potting the first ball straight afterwards as well. Most people, I think, would have thought that last night with that uh, lead, uh, you'd have just gone back and sort of sat down and read a book or something, but I gather you didn't. No, no. Uh, we ended up at the local nightclub there uh, last night. <laughs> yeah. Until what time? <coughs> Till about 2 o'clock, half 2. Is that the way you relax? Uh, well, it was good to get away from the game, you know. It wasn't bad. <laughs> what did you feel about this morning? Uh, I woke up pretty early. Uh, I was feeling a bit tense, like, uh, first thing, but then uh, when I found out that I was nearly late, uh, yeah. it soon went. Well, you were both uh, nearly late, I think. Well, yeah, I'd uh, surprised I was here before him, yeah. I think you've been having some trouble with waistcoats during this tournament as well, haven't you? Uh, well, I've just had these two made up uh, yesterday afternoon, would you believe? Uh, yeah. And what happened to this one this morning? Oh, this this was made uh, yesterday afternoon, but uh, the one I was going to wear was uh, wasn't ready. <laughs> it was supposed to arrive before the match, but it uh, didn't get here till the second frame. So I felt so comfortable in this one, uh, I decided to keep it on. I think you'll stick with that one for the rest of the championship, uh, yeah, won't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, now, of course, you've got to progress on and play another match, and the problem surely is going to be, I mean, coming in to play, you know, the world champion Steve Davis in the first match, building it all up, and now you've got to start really all over again with another match. Is there a danger now that you know it might all just drain away from you? Uh, I'll decide about all that. And, uh, when is it Wednesday? Uh -huh. uh, no, I think I'll, I'll come back into the match this, the same way as I started this one. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping I'll uh, play the same way throughout the tournament now. If I do, I should uh, have a good chance. And win it? Well, uh, who knows? Anyway, marvellous be performance. You're obviously over the moon, and uh, I think it might sink in by the end of tonight. But, no, uh, might be. Tony, very well played. Thank you very much. Mark Wood, what a surprise. It just goes to show what a difficult uh, world sport is in which to earn a living. And Steve Davis, of course, now reduced the role of spectator. And I think, actually, at one stage, Steve was 5-1 to one on with most bookies uh, to win the uh, title. And uh, Tony Knowles there, 50-1 to one against to actually win that match. It really is astonishing. Uh,